Time passed quietly in the daily hard exercise like this. In the blink of an eye, a month has passed. Yun Chuan finally got used to the exercise level of wearing a vest of several hundred pounds and running around the Lois Avenue. From the beginning of running a lap, I was so tired that I couldn't move, and now I can finish the lap with ease. His progress can be described as rapid. It is foreseeable that his next exercise will be to gradually increase the amount of exercise. From running one lap gradually to running two laps, three laps. Until reaching a certain level, you will change to a heavier vest. On this day, Yun Chuan was given a rare day off. After all, things like exercising should also be relaxed. Even if the body can persist in exercising every day, the mind will be bored. So relax, let the tight string in your mind loosen properly, and proper rest is necessary. Early in the morning, Yun Chuan just opened the door after washing, and planned to take advantage of today's rest to take a good stroll in Wuhun City. As soon as the door was opened, it was found that a waiter had been waiting for a long time. Holding a letter in his hand, there are four large characters written on the envelope, Agawa's own letter. Yun Chuan was taken aback for a moment, then looked at the letter signed by Qian Runshui on the cover, with a look of surprise on his face, and said, Sister Shui wrote to me again. After speaking, he grabbed the envelope and closed the door. Inside the room, holding the envelope in his hand, Yun Chuan went to the desk by the window and pulled out a chair to sit down. Then he couldn't wait to open the envelope, took out a piece of letter paper full of beautiful small characters, and began to read quietly. Most of the content in the letter was Qian Runshui complaining, saying that her life as an undercover prince in the Tiando Empire was very boring, and some daily trivial matters, and asking him if he missed his sister, Yun Yun. Yun Chuan looked very carefully, savoring the feelings between the lines carefully, with a faint smile on his face, under the morning sunlight outside the window, the beauty should not be in the world. Qian Runshui was about 10 years older than him, and would often come to play with him and play with him when he was a baby. Originally, if there were no accidents, the two should be able to grow up together, and then become a pair of childhood sweethearts, childhood sweethearts. It's a pity that when he was two years old, Qian Runshui got her mother's approval in order to prove herself to the female pope. He spontaneously asked for orders to work as an undercover agent in the Heaven Do Empire. First planned to kill the Heaven Do Prince Shui Qing, and then use the soul bone technique to pretend to be him and replace him. Until now, he has been undercover for four years under the disguise of the first Prince Shui Qing in the Heaven Do Empire. During these four years, Qian Runshui would come back to Spirit Hall every three or four months and every time she rested for two or three days, she had to return to the Heaven Do Empire, after all his disguised identity could not be lost for too long. Otherwise, it is easy for people to see the flaws and waste all previous efforts. As for writing letters, there is no such restriction, you can write as much as you want, then ask someone to bring it back and deliver it to him. Sometimes Qian Runshui sent more than 20 letters in a month, and sometimes only one letter was sent in two or three months during busy periods. Talk to him about your recent situation, and tell him about your troubles. Yun Chuan would basically reply every time, telling about his current situation, and then writing down his feelings. In this way, the two kept in touch with each other through letters, knowing each other's recent situation. The feelings have not been weakened in the slightest because of the limitation of distance. On the contrary, it is because of the beautiful relationship created by the distance, and some things are difficult to say in person so I don't have so many scruples when I write them out. So Qian Runshui unconsciously and subconsciously became a little dependent on Yun Chuan, and her feelings towards him changed silently. In these years, the relationship between the two has not only not weakened due to the separation of the two places, but has become closer than before. After Yun Chuan carefully read the content of Qian Runshui's letter, he carefully folded the letter paper again and put it back in the envelope. Then he took out a brocade box from the storage soul guide, put it on the table and opened it, a large stack of envelopes was piled up inside. All of them were Qian Runshui's letters over the years, and he put them here and kept them. Put this new letter into the brocade box, close the lid, and take back the soul guide. Yun Chuan opened the drawer under the desk, took out a brand new piece of letter paper, then reached out to the row of writing brushes hanging neatly on the desk, and finally chose a slender writing brush. Because his hands are too small, it is unavoidable to hold a brush that is too big and the characters written are not good looking. With the tip of the pen dipped in the ink that had already been sharpened, Yun Chuan held the brush in his hand, and after contemplating for a moment with his brows fixed, he began to write gently on the white paper. The cutest, most beautiful, gentlest and kindest sister Shui in the world. 
The summer flowers bloom coquettishly, but it's a pity that they don't look as good as you. The summer sun is infinitely bright, but it's no match for your warmth. I miss you so much, when will we meet again? No matter how beautiful a painter is, it cannot describe your beauty. No matter how beautiful a poem is, it cannot express my deep love for you. My beloved girl, I am willing to become an angel and come to watch over you forever. It has been two months since you came back last time, this short period of 60 days is for me. It's as long as 60 years have passed. I finally understand what the ancients used to say that if you don't see each other in a day, it's like three autumns. Miss you in the most beautiful night, miss you in the deepest breath, feel you in the happiest time, know you in the most frustrated time, this world is enough to have you. Missing you comes flooding in every day, keeping me awake at night countless times. Whether it is sunny, cloudy or rainy, the day I can see you is a sunny day. No matter it is yesterday, today or tomorrow, the day I can be with you is a beautiful day. I miss our carefree time so much. Whether you are by my side or in the sky, when I think of you in the corner of the world, I feel that the whole world has become gentle and stable. How much I want to go to the city with you, I want to blow the wind you blow, I want to breathe the air you breathe, I want to walk the way you walk, I want to see the scenery of your life, I want to feel the temperature around you, I want to hug you. Omit some nasty words. Knowing you is the luck of my life, your kindness to me always moves me to the point of crying. So, I made the most important decision, to spend all the time in my life facing you. After spending about an hour choosing words and making sentences, searching his guts, and finally concocting a flamboyant love letter full of earthy flavors, Yun Chuan nodded in satisfaction. Then I watched it from the beginning, and decisively disgusted myself. Ugh, this is too nasty. Yun Chuan touched his arm with goosebumps. Even if he wrote the letter himself, he was disgusted by himself. But there is no way, who told the girls to take this bite? Girls like to listen to sweet talk. This letter looked gross and disgusting to him, but it wasn't necessarily so from the girl's perspective. Fold the letter paper that was written with great difficulty, put it into a blank envelope, and then pick up a pen and write four big characters on the front of the envelope. Sister Shui kisses you. One letter and that's it. Yun Chuan took the sealed letter, went to the door and opened it only to see that the waiter who delivered the letter was still waiting quietly at the door with his head lowered. Every time a letter was delivered, it would not be long before Yun Chuan would reply with a letter. So the waiter also had experience and waited directly at the door. Give this letter to Sister Shui, he handed the letter to him. Yes. The waiter took the letter solemnly with both hands, then saluted, and then four spirit rings appeared around him, three of which lit up, and one disappeared in place in a flash. But this is not teleportation, it is just an illusion caused by too fast speed. Yun Chuan remembered that this person's martial soul had no offensive power, but he was good at delivering letters. It is said that it is still from the Minji clan, but the martial soul is mutated, so it is rejected. Finally, he took refuge in Wuhundian. Heaven Do Empire, Prince's Mansion. Study. A young man who looked about 17 or 18 years old was sitting at a desk with a pen in his hand, dealing with government affairs. Just looking at the neatly arranged memorial documents on the desk, one can know that there are definitely a lot of these government affairs. After being established as the prince, the emperor will properly start to assign some irrelevant government affairs to the prince, which can be regarded as allowing him to adapt to the emperor's work in advance. Therefore, as the crown prince, the prince is actually very busy on a daily basis, with endless government affairs to deal with every day, but none of them involve the core. It's a trivial matter. And this young man who is dealing with government affairs is none other than the first prince of the Heaven Do Empire and the current crown prince Shui Qing. Of course, this is only a superficial identity. In fact, the real Shui Qing was assassinated a few years ago. The current Shui Qing who is sitting here handling government affairs is actually disguised by Qian Runshui. Only as a descendant of the angel god, with the spirit bone inherited from the angel god, and her own disguise soul ability, can she disguise so seamlessly. Even if titled Du Luo were to see her, she wouldn't be able to see that she was a fake Shui Qing. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door outside the study. Qian Runshui paused while reviewing the memorial, and then gently put down the pen. He said coldly, come in. The door of the study room was slowly pushed open, and a young man walked in with his head bowed and holding a letter in both hands, and said in a respectful and low voice, Young master, this is a reply letter from Master Yunchuan. Qian Runshui's unmoving face changed drastically, and she didn't care about anything else, she hurriedly said, bring it quickly. Holding the letter in both hands, the young man walked slowly to the desk with his head down, and handed the letter to Empress Qian Runshui. 
he stopped his hand and backed away slowly, until he reached the door, and then slowly closed the door again. Qian Runshui was the only one left in the room at this time, and she didn't bother to maintain a disguise anymore. His whole body was gradually covered by a layer of light, and when the light dissipated, the ordinary youth had turned into a peerless beauty at this moment. A head of golden long hair that was as dazzling as the sun was simply loose, but it had a charming style of its own. The skin is finer than snow. The facial features are exquisite and exquisite, and every part of it shows the femininity and beauty of women. There is a small serif brand between her eyebrows, and there is a majesty in her golden eyes, beautiful and dangerous. Wearing a golden palace dress, the long skirt is one piece, it seems to be woven with gold silk, without too many decorative patterns, the style is simple and elegant. In terms of figure, it can only be described as perfect. At the age of 15 or 16, she is in the youngest and most beautiful age of a girl. After recovering her real body, Qian Runchui couldn't wait to open the envelope, took out the letter inside, and slowly unfolded it. The first thing to enter is the familiar handwriting, which is slim and graceful, and has a dignified shape. It has to be said that Yun Chuan can write well at a young age. Qian Runchui read it from the beginning, and saw the opening sentence at first glance the cutest, most beautiful, gentlest, and kindest sister Shui in the world. She couldn't help but blushed, and spat in a low voice, You little brat. You're not ashamed, I'm even ashamed. Then look down. Summer flowers bloom coquettishly, but it's a pity that they're not as good looking as you. Summer sun is infinitely bright, but cannot match your warmth. Summer rain is cool and long, how can you kiss your lips lightly? I miss you so much, when will we meet again? You little devil, you said it was an accident last time, why do you still remember? Qian Runchui bit her delicate red lips, recalling that she was asked for a farewell kiss when she parted last time. Kiss him on the cheek. I in the end, the little devil turned his head slightly, causing her to accidentally kiss his lips. It was really embarrassing. That was her first kiss. The shy Qian Runchui continued to look down. No matter how beautiful a painter is, it cannot describe your beauty. No matter how beautiful a poem is, it cannot express my deep love for you. My beloved girl, I am willing to become an angel and come to watch over you forever. HMPH. What kind of love does a kid with no hair know? Where did this kid learn such nonsense? When we go back next time, we must interrogate him. Qian Runchui snorted softly, and muttered. And I'm an angel. Well, even if you want to become an angel, it's up to me. Speaking of which, it stopped abruptly. After realizing what she said, Qian Runchui's pretty face was already red like a sunset glow, and her noble golden eyes glowed with water. At this moment, she looked like a normal girl, who could be called it as Waichun girl. Looking around like a guilty conscience, he realized that he was the only one in the room. Only then did Qian Runchui heave a sigh of relief, then she collected herself and looked down. It has been two months since you came back last time, this short period of sixty days is for me. It's as long as, sixty, years have passed. I finally understand what the ancients used to say that if you don't see each other in a day, it's like three autumns. Seeing this, Qian Runchui couldn't help complaining. Is it so exaggerated? It's just that although she was complaining, a smile appeared on her face unconsciously. Obviously, these words were very useful. Typical duplicity, can only say that women like to hear such very false words. Even if I know it's fake, I just like to hear it. Thinking of you in the most beautiful night, thinking of you in the deepest breath, feeling you in the happiest time, knowing that in the most frustrated time, this world is enough to have you. Missing you comes flooding in every day, keeping me awake at night countless times. Whether it is sunny, cloudy or rainy, the day I can see you is a sunny day. No matter it is yesterday, today or tomorrow, the day I can be with you is a beautiful day. I miss our carefree time so much. Whether you are by my side or in the sky, when I think of you in the corner of the world, I feel that the whole world has become gentle and stable. How much I want to go to the city with you. I want to blow the wind you blow. I want to breathe the air you breathe. I want to walk the way you walk. I want to see the scenery of your life. I want to feel the temperature around you. I want to hug you. Omit some nasty words. Knowing you is the luck of my life. Your kindness to me always makes me want to cry. So, I decided the most important decision. To spend all the time in my life against you. Every word, savoring the feelings between the lines carefully. Ever since Qian Runchui read the letter, the smile on her face has never stopped. She just feels tired and bored after reading this letter and dealing with government affairs for days. Everything dissipated. Instead, there is a numb feeling. As if after a massage. The body is light and light, and the heart is as sweet as eating honey. After watching it all, I couldn't help but watch it again from the beginning, 
and the happy smile on Chow's face never stopped. I in the end, he pressed the letter on his plump chest with both hands, and lay on his back, as if he had lost all his strength, fell on the back of the seat, staring blankly at the ceiling with his golden eyes. From time to time, he chuckled. At this moment, Qian Runshui looked like a foolish girl in love. No, it doesn't have to be like that at all. She is now a dumb teenage girl in love. This day. As always, get up on time, take a shower, and get dressed. After eating breakfast by the way, Yun Chuan walked to the training place by himself. Now he no longer needs the female Pope to hold him and fly over. And in fact, that place is not too far from Wuhun City, so it doesn't take much effort to run there. Soon, Yun Chuan ran out of the city. When I came to the lowest road where I used to exercise, I could only see two beautiful figures, one big and one small, waiting for me quietly at the starting point. Yun Chuan couldn't help being taken aback by this, his running pace slowed down, and finally came to the side of the female pope, looking at the girl who was holding the hand of the female pope and looking at him timidly. Can't help but ask. Mom, who is she? This girl looked about 10 years old, probably 4 or 5 years older than Yun Chuan. She has short orange hair with a shawl but her watery eyes are slightly narrow and long, with an unconscious charm. It's as if you're discharging someone. The girl's appearance can be described as extremely beautiful, although she is still a little immature because of her young age, but from that delicate face with a touch of baby fat, and her seductive winking eyes. It is not difficult to see that when she is fully grown, she will definitely be a peerless beauty who charms all living beings. This child is called Hu Liena, and she is my mother's new disciple. The Pope smiled lightly, stretched out her jade hand to rub the orange hair of the girl who was snuggling next to her, and said gently, From now on, Nana will take care of you every morning. Exercise with you for a period of time, as a man, Chuan or can't bully others. Oh, I got it. Yun Chuan nodded, knowing Bibi Dong's purpose clearly. This is because I am afraid that I will be bored exercising, so I find a girl to accompany me. As the saying goes, it is not tiring to work with men and women. Normally, boys have a desire to show off in front of girls, and they will unconsciously show their best side. Therefore, with a girl by his side in whatever he does, the boy's efficiency will be greatly improved. And the most important thing is that during the boring exercise process, there is a beautiful girl by your side, even if you can't touch it, just looking at it is good for your eyes. At this moment, Yun Chuan didn't know what to say at all. Isn't this really my mother? He has been cared for carefully since he was a child, and he will not give the moon to the stars. Now that he is afraid that he will be bored exercising, he seems to have sent a child bride over. Where in the world can I find such a good mother? Yun Chuan was so moved that he almost cried. He felt that the luckiest thing in his life was to be snatched by Wu Hundian. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'm still playing mud with a group of runny-nosed kids in Holy Soul Village. Sure enough. Being handsome means being popular. Yun Chuan felt very grateful that he had added the charm attribute to the full value at this moment. It is really because he has these treatments now, and this appearance that the system evaluates as the most handsome boy in the world, absolutely inseparable. Otherwise, if it's just ordinary looking, or just ordinary looking and handsome, how can he to open the heart of the female Pope, and then max out her favorability in just a few years? Do you really think that full of charm is just as simple as being handsome? When a talent attribute reaches the full value, a certain aspect has already risen to a level close to Tao. Yun Chuan's charm is not something superficial like charm, but simply high in charm. It's like people are attracted by beautiful things and naturally like beautiful things. Isn't this a normal thing? This level of charm, although not exaggerated to the same level as Long Aotian, makes any woman fall in love at first sight when she sees him, and she falls in love with him without even saying a word. But anyone who sees his charming face, as long as he is not hostile or hateful, will basically have a good impression of him. If Yun Chuan wants to take the opportunity to increase his favorability, it will be very easy for the relationship between the two to go further. This is how Bibi Dong gradually fell into decline. But now, Hu Liena, who met for the first time, seemed to be stepping into the footsteps of the female Pope. She was blushing, but her seductive winking eyes were extremely shy at the moment. She glanced at Yun Chuan quietly and then immediately turned to elsewhere. It seemed that he was afraid that if he took another look, he would lose his composure immediately. Hello, my name is Yun Chuan. Yun Chuan looked at this young and pure girl who could not see that she would be known as the charming Sky Fox in the future. A faint smile appeared on her white and delicate face, as if her whole body was radiant. Hello, my name is Hu Liena. Hu Liena said with some stumbles. She lowered her head slightly, 
not daring to look at him at all. Two small hands grabbed the hem of the skirt, looking very nervous. But she is obviously older than him by as much as five years. Seeing that the two greeted each other, let's just know each other. The female pope nodded and said with a smile, Now that we know each other, Chuan Er, you can take Nana to complete today's exercise. From now on, Nana will exercise with you every morning for a period of time. Well, leave Nana to me. After hearing this, Yun Chuan pretended to be heroic and patted his small chest to promise. This appearance of a little ghost successfully made Bibi Dong and Huliana, two big and small beauties, laugh. Hee hee, okay, then mother will give Nana to you. The female pope smiled lightly and pushed Huliana who was by her side towards him. Huliana, who is 11 years old this year, is about a head taller than Yun Chuan, who is only 6 years old. Standing together, she looks like his older sister. But this elder sister was extremely weak at this time, looking at her younger brother extremely delicately. Yun Chuan took out a vest weighing several hundred caddies from the sole tool and put it on, then turned to look at Hu Liena, who was not wearing any weight, and asked doubtfully, Mom, does Nana need to carry weight? No, Nana is different from you, it's too early for her to bear weight. Bibi Dong shook her head. Not everyone is like Yun Chuan who can carry a weight of several hundred caddies and run such a long distance at the age of six. Moreover, Hu Liena's situation is different from Yun Chuan's. She is not as talented as Yun Chuan, and improving her soul power is as easy as breathing. For Hu Liena, the current focus is still on cultivating her soul power. As for running and exercising her body, it's just incidental. It's enough to exercise with Yun Chuan for a short time in the morning and cultivate her relationship. The rest of the time is mainly to learn the knowledge of soul masters and the cultivation of soul power. Because the age of 11 is the golden age for cultivating soul power. It is also a period of fastest growth in soul power, so it must not be wasted. Hu Liena is 11 years old this year, her spirit is a fox, and her innate spirit power is only level 9. Her aptitude wasn't that strong, but her spirit power was already at level 25. It was obvious how hardworking this girl was. It was precisely this quality that the female pope took a fancy to, so she accepted this girl as a disciple. Otherwise, although there are not many aptitudes better than this girl, but there are also many, why did he accept this girl as a disciple? Time passed by quietly. In the blink of an eye, six years have passed. Yun Chuan is 12 years old this year, during these six years. Yun Chuan's exercise has also changed from simple weight-bearing running at the beginning to more diverse. Like push-ups, sit-ups, squat jumps, climbing on cliffs with weights. Almost every imaginable method of exercising has been exercised. Of course, during these six years, his daily routine was not just about exercising. As for the exploration and development of his two martial spirits, he actually didn't fall behind. With the support of the materials passed down by Wu Hundian for many years, and the help and guidance of many titled Duluo level powerhouses, from the modern society of the information explosion, he has developed many attack methods with active thinking, using the way of this world. It is self-created soul skills. Now he is no longer the one who has powerful soul power and superb martial soul. A child who doesn't know how to use it at all. Wearing a white robe with the angel logo of Wu Hundian and embroidered with golden silk thread, it was worn by a teenager who was about 12 years old. The development of the soul master will become faster and faster as the practice progresses, and it may also be delayed due to the relationship between the martial soul. Therefore, the vast majority of soul masters can't judge the specific age from the appearance at all, and can only accurately judge the age of the soul master by touching the bones. Yun Chuan, who is 12 years old this year, looks like he is already in his teens at this time. The height is about 1.7 meters, which is not considered high in Duluo Dalu. After all, because of the relationship between Wu Hun, there are many people who are 2 meters, 2 meters or even 3 meters tall. Unless it is because of the characteristics of the martial soul, soul masters are basically very tall. Impossible to appear short. Now, his identity is Wu Hundian, the Holy Son. Now, under the order of the Pope, he came to this unknown small village in the territory of Tiando Kingdom to relieve the disasters and difficulties for the people here. By the way, let's promote the greatness of Wu Hundian. As a religious organization, Wu Hundian naturally needs to manage its own reputation well. It just so happened that Yun Chuan's ability played a huge role in this aspect. Therefore, in recent years, he has often been sent out to do similar things. This is a small village located within the territory of the Heaven Do Empire. Because every family has the surname Niu, it is called Niujia Village. The population is small, only a few hundred people. 
The martial spirits of the people here are mostly sickles, hoes, oxen and the like, and they rely on farming for a living, living a life of working from sunrise to sunset. But one day, an evil soul master who wandered here broke the peace here. What is an evil soul master? Soul masters on the Duluo continent have a long history, have a high status and enjoy honor on the mainland. On the contrary, there is another kind of people on the mainland evil soul masters. They are full of evil and do all kinds of bad things. They are simply existences that everyone shouts and beats. And how did the evil soul master appear? After the emergence of the profession of soul master, through hard work, he gained a lofty status on the Duluo continent. But people are divided into good and evil, not all soul masters are kind. Many soul masters are inflated because of their own strength, so they have the arrogance of Lao Tzu's number one in the world, and even have evil thoughts. There are also some soul masters who have gone astray and become evil soul masters because of their low talent and slow cultivation speed. All in all, evil soul masters are soul masters who cannot resist the various desires in their hearts, use various evil means to gain power, and kill innocent people. The evil soul master who fled to the small village of Niyujia village has a martial soul called a bloodthirsty bat, and he can quickly improve by sucking human blood and soul power. As a result, hundreds of people in this small village suffered, and were planted with life threatening means by this evil soul master with special soul skills, and then used as a long term source of blood. The blood of the human body will recover on its own. As long as it does not lose too much blood all at once. The lack of some blood will not have much impact on people.so when this evil soul master controlled everyone in Niyujia village through evil soul skills, he didn't kill people out of the idea of sustainable development. Instead, the entire village is regarded as a food reserve. The blood of 10 people is sucked a day for cultivation, and each person only sucks about one-tenth of the blood in the body. There are hundreds of people in the whole village, and it will not be a short time until all of them have smoked. The person who was sucked blood at the beginning has almost recovered and can suck blood again. Because of this, the whereabouts of this evil soul master who cultivated by sucking blood were not exposed at first, after all, he only lost a little blood, and his life was not in danger. But a deadly method has been planted on his body. Once he goes to inform, the whole village will die. Everyone knows how to choose. However, over time, this evil soul master who relies on blood cultivation is also growing in strength day by day. The appetite is also getting bigger and bigger, from sucking the blood of 10 people a day, to 20 people and 30 people. The amount of blood sucked has also increased from 1 tenth to 2 tenths, 3 tenths. Gradually, seeing this evil soul master's appetite getting bigger and bigger, and feeling his body becoming weak due to the lack of blood, everyone in the village felt fear in their hearts. Until one day, a person was found dead at home due to excessive blood loss. The death of this person finally ignited the fuse of the villagers' outbreak and aroused their resistance. The villagers in the village quietly reported the incident to Wuhundian. Because Wuhundian can be said to be the most famous, the most powerful, and the most trusted among all the forces that fight against evil spirit masters. At the same time, the reason why the evil soul master has become a mouse that everyone shouts and beats is that he can only huddle in a dark corner and linger on his last breath. It is also inseparable from Wuhundian. Wuhundian believes in the god of angels, a god with sacred attributes, which makes them very disgusted with evil soul masters, who have evil attributes and behave very evil. Therefore, Wuhundian often has contra level powerhouses to form groups to chase down evil spirit masters. Once a high level evil spirit master is discovered, they will be sanctioned by Wuhundian's digital contras, or even titled Duluo. And during this period of time, because of Bibi Dong's upper-level reform system, the branch halls of the Wuhun temple are almost all over the Duluo continent, and they help six-year-old children awaken their Wuhun everywhere in the mainland. It can be said that there are eyeliners everywhere, as long as the evil soul master dares to come out to do bad things, someone will immediately report to the Wuhun temple powerhouses in the nearby cities to come and hunt them down. In such a situation, evil soul masters simply don't have the soil to grow. Just like this vampire bat evil soul master who fled to Niyujia village when his strength was low at the beginning, he didn't need much blood, so he was not discovered. But when the strength gets stronger and stronger, the demand for blood increases, and if you want to become stronger, you can only suck more blood. The result was exposed precisely because of the increase in demand. But if the demand for blood is limited, the strength cannot be improved. Increase the amount of blood sucked but it will attract the hunt of the strong in the Wuhun temple. This formed an endless loop, and also caused Duluo Yi to have no powerful evil soul masters in this period of time. 
Because of this, as long as the Wuhun temple exists for a day, it will be very difficult for the evil spirit masters to have the opportunity to come out to act in an open and honest manner, and it is no longer possible to develop and grow stronger, unless Wuhundian is destroyed. In the original book, the Wuhun palace was finally destroyed by Tang San, and then the huge power was directly disintegrated and divided by the two empires, but these two empires didn't care much about the evil spirit masters. There is no such hatred towards evil spirit masters as in Wuhundian, and because of this, evil spirit masters lost the suppression of Wuhundian, and gradually began to become rampant. Once the evil soul masters obtained the resources for cultivation, their strength would usher in a period of explosion, and soul masters of the same level were no match for them at all. In this way, it gradually developed and expanded, and even formed an organization. In the development of the next one year, the Holy Spirit sect, the largest evil soul master organization in history, was developed. Countless evil soul masters joined this organization one after another, and the power of the Holy Spirit sect began to expand continuously, and even a 99th level ultimate Duluo powerhouse appeared. The evil soul masters really began to wreak havoc on the world. And all this is only because after Tang San destroyed the Wuhun Palace, he didn't care about killing or burying, which led to the rise of evil spirit masters. As for the Tang sect he left behind, it didn't play any role at all. After all, the Tang sect is an organization that sells hidden weapons. From the rules of the sect, it can be seen that it is selfish and only cares about its own development. It is of no benefit to the world or to the people at all. On the contrary, if there is no war in the world, then there will be no place to sell Tangmen's hidden weapons. Because of this, all the people who have watched Du Luo in the previous life have mixed opinions on this character. Holy son, the Niu family village is here. The attendant's voice awakened Yun Chuan's thoughts from thinking about the original work. He got up slowly and got out of the carriage. At this time, outside the carriage, there were a lot of people kneeling densely. It is roughly estimated that there are at least a few hundred people, old and young, men and women. These people were all sallow, thin, pale, and looked like they were dying. I in particular, there are many traces of blood holes and wounds on the neck. Obviously, because of the long term blood sucking, the body has been greatly affected. These people basically don't live long if no one cares about them. Even if they can survive, they are basically disease ridden. The result is that life is worse than death. After all, the importance of blood to the human body is self-evident. Losing a large amount of blood over the years can imagine the huge impact it will have on the human body. And these kneeling villagers saw the young man who seemed to be radiating light after getting off the luxurious carriage, and they all started to cheer as if they had been redeemed. It's Master Shang Si. We are saved. It's really the Holy Son. Greetings, Lord Son. Master Shang Si, you must save us. Son, the villagers kneeling on the ground no matter men, women or children, wept with joy. Looking at the boy who got off the carriage, it was like seeing a savior. All this is due to what Yun Chuan has done in the past few years. Coupled with the vigorous publicity of the Wuhun Temple, his reputation as the son of Yun Chuan for saving the world has spread almost throughout the Duluo continent. Became the most representative figure in Wuhundian. As for his portrait, although it can barely capture some of his charm, it is enough for those who have seen the portrait to recognize his identity when they see his real person. After Yun Chuan got off the carriage, he looked at the many villagers kneeling in front of him, his impeccably perfect face suddenly showed a look of pity, like an angel descended from the mortal world, seeing the world unlucky. Everyone. Get up. Yun Chuan's voice was very soft, as if with an inspiring charm. It is also like a warm spring, cleansing people's hearts and nourishing the hearts of everyone present. Immediately, everyone present stood up subconsciously. This was a completely unconscious movement, and the reaction of the body was still before the brain. Their instincts told them that the person in front of them could definitely be trusted and would never harm them. This is undoubtedly the effect of the full charm, which allows Yun Chuan to be able to respond to everyone everywhere. With this face, if he turned out of Wuhundian and founded a Yun Chuan sect, he might really be able to replace Wuhundian and become the number one sect in the Duluo continent. It is precisely because of knowing the lethality of his face that the Hall of Spirits established him as a holy son, and even as an ambassador of the Hall of Spirits. Of course, apart from the relationship with this face, the ability of Yunchuan Wuhun is also very important. Plant Master. Goddess of Life. This is the martial soul he advertised as the holy son of the martial soul hall, claiming to have the power to save the world. In fact, it is his plant goddess martial soul, but the name has been changed. 
During these years, Yun Chuan has gradually figured out other functions of this martial soul. So he feels that it is a bit inappropriate to call it the goddess of plants. That's why he changed Wuhan's name to Master of Plants, Goddess of Life. This name not only summarizes the characteristics of Wuhun, but also feels very high-end and elegant. Plants dominate. Goddess of Life. It is both a master and a goddess. Even if other people don't know the specific use of this martial soul, they will feel confused just by hearing the name. Compared to the blue electric Tyrannosaurus Rex, the clear Skyhammer, or the seven treasure glazed tile pagoda, it feels like they are all too high grade. Seeing all the people standing up, Yun Chuan nodded in satisfaction. He was born in an era when everyone was equal and peaceful, and what annoyed him most was people who would kneel at every turn. Everyone, I'll treat you right now. Yun Chuan crossed his hands, posing in a strange posture in front of his chest, with his thumbs interlocked his index fingers touching, and the other six fingers spread out to the sides, which looked like a seraphim spreading its wings. Tight then, soft white light began to bloom all over his body, and finally gradually condensed into a pair of huge snow-white wings behind him. At this time, he looked like an angel descending to save the world. Bai Jia's wings fluttered gently, swaying the white light that warms the soul. The beautiful and holy brilliance fills the world. The villagers gathered in all directions were bathed in this holy radiance, couldn't help but slowly closed their eyes, and began to pray silently. I just feel that the fear and anxiety in my heart are all dissipated under this holy light. The corner of his mouth couldn't help showing a smile, recalling all kinds of happy things in this life in his mind at this moment. But at this time, Yun Chuan, who had been closing his eyes, slowly opened them, looking at the people immersed in the holy light, his thoughts moved. Immediately behind and above, along with the emerald green light full of vitality emerged, a plant goddess holding blue silver grass appeared. Oh no, it's time to call her the goddess of life. Under Yun Chuan's control, this goddess of life Wu Hun gently waved the blue silver grass in his hand, and saw dots of emerald green light swaying out, constantly accompanied by the snow white holy light, falling into the place of closed eyes and praying. In everyone's body, make up for their lack of blood and supplement their lost vitality. Let their originally extremely pale faces gradually become rosy, and their skinny bodies gradually become plump. Their appearances that seemed to be seriously ill and dying, began to recover quickly under the nourishment of the purest vitality. This is the usage of the goddess of life Wu Hun that Yun Chuan has explored in the past few years. It is simple to say, in fact, it is to absorb the most original life force in plants, and then store it in the goddess of life Wu Hun. When you need it, you can use it anytime. Ever since he discovered the ability of the goddess of life, Yun Chuan no longer needed to take medicinal baths after every exercise. You only need to use the vitality stored in the Goddess of Life Wu Hun in advance, then you can perfectly recover the damage from the exercise. The effect is even better than the bubbling medicated bath, and the recovery speed is even faster. The life force he draws from plants is the most original life force of living things. It has a wide range of functions. It can not only heal injuries, but also regenerate broken limbs, and even prolong life. After all, Everyone has vitality, and the amount of vitality determines how long a person can live. The reason why people grow old and die is just that their vitality is exhausted. As long as the vitality can be replenished in time at this time, then youth can be returned. Theoretically speaking, with this ability, Yun Chuan can already live forever, and even make others live forever. So Yun Chuan never revealed his ability to restore youth and prolong life. It is only claimed to the outside world that it can treat injuries and make up for the shortfall. After all, the ability to prolong life is too tempting for other people. I don't know how many soul masters are unable to break through to a higher realm because their lifespan is about to run out, or because they are too old. Once people know that he has this ability, then it will definitely not be a good thing for Yun Chuan. Unless he has the strength to suppress all dissatisfaction, it is better not to expose this heaven-defying ability. So far, Yun Chuan has only talked about his ability with the three most trusted people, the Pope and Qian Runshui Hu Liena. After a while, after injecting enough vitality into hundreds of people at the scene to make up for the shortfall, the goddess behind Yunchuan holding the blue silver grass and swaying vitality gradually stopped, and then her body gradually dimmed, and finally turned into a ray of light and returned to his body. At the same time, the pair of snow white wings on Yunchuan's back gradually dimmed, and finally disappeared. The holy light that filled the sky also disappeared with the disappearance of the wings. In fact, this pair of wings are wings condensed by pure light, they cannot fly, they just look good. During these six years, 
Yunchuan's development and use of the two martial arts abilities have initially achieved results. Now this pair of wings of holy light is just an alternative use of the light attribute among the four attributes of the supreme clear sky hammer. This trick is called sacred light. It has no offensive power, but it can dispel people's negative spirit. This holy light only acts on the human mind and has the effect of soothing and dispelling the shadows of the mind. It is really a necessary ability for preaching and being a magic stick to fool people. According to this world's point of view, this move can also be regarded as a self-created soul skill. And similar self-created soul skills, Yun Chuan has also developed a lot in the past six years, all of which are a kind of use of the abilities of the two martial souls.